Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be working on this Game Boy Color. So this one, they're reporting that the buttons are not working. Additionally, I'm going to be working on replacing this shell since it looks like it's in pretty bad condition. Um, it looks like there's quite a bit of bite marks on it and some of the stereo uh, things here are kind of messed up. So let's go ahead and test it out and see what's wrong with it. Okay, so it looks like we're not getting any sound. At least I'm not hearing anything. And the start button doesn't seem to be working either, as they mentioned. Let me go ahead and open it up and check it out. So I don't really think you can see it here, but it looks pretty dirty. So let me go ahead and zoom in. As you can see here, it looks really dirty. It just looks like there's a lot of dirt. I mean, we're gonna go ahead and clean this up with some IPA. Uh, it's really not that bad, but we are gonna have to go ahead and troubleshoot and see if maybe this is dirty, why the sound isn't working. And it looks like there's a little bit of corrosion right here. I don't know what that is, but we'll go ahead and clean that up. Seems to be something here as well, right? there okay and everything else seems okay so let's go ahead and start cleaning this up real quick let me go ahead and remove these screws so I can see the other side so we can go ahead and clean it I really don't know what's going on with the select and the start. They don't look terrible, but we're gonna go ahead and clean it. I mean, everything else is really dirty as you can see here. Just looks like there's a lot of dirt in between. So we'll go ahead and clean that with a little bit of IPA. Uh, one of the other things that I noticed right now was um, this piece looks pretty messed up. I do happen to have a spare. So we're gonna go ahead and work on just replacing this piece as well. And that shouldn't be too bad. But let's go ahead and clean this up real quick and see if that helps any. So next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and troubleshoot the sound since I'm not having any sound coming out prior. So I'm gonna use this power just to kind of go ahead and test that out real quick without assembling everything. And I'm just using that, um, it's just connected here to these alligator clips and the black one's gonna go ahead into the negative and the red one into the positive. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and turn it on. 
All right, we got sound. So it looks like it just may have been something with a cleaning. I mean, there may have been dirt or something that was collecting mainly in this audio jack, um, I suspect. So let's go ahead and just pop in the game and see if we get any sound just to double check everything is good. There we go. And you can actually hear that. All right, let's go ahead and power it off. Now that we got the sound working, we're gonna go ahead and replace this extension port. So this one is pretty mangled as you can see here. I do have another one that I got from a donor board. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that. We're simply just gonna go ahead and uh, remove the solder from these six joints here, as well as the one below here. And the one above here, just be careful with this LED to not melt it. I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my desolder gun and let's go ahead and remove this piece. Now that we're done with all that, I'm gonna go ahead and attach the screen just so that I can go ahead and test the, these buttons and see what's working and what isn't. That way we can uh, determine if we're gonna further troubleshoot this or if everything is ready to go and we just reassemble it. So I went ahead and reconnected everything. I put the batteries back in in the game just so I can go ahead and test it. So let's go ahead and see if the buttons are working after cleaning everything up. Okay, it looks like the star button seems to be working again. A button's a little bit hard. Left button's a little bit hard as well. Start works. And select seems to be working. So everything seems to be working. I haven't noticed anything that is too bad. I mean, maybe it's just a little bit dirty on the membranes, but I think once we replace it with the aftermarket shell, uh, maybe some of those membranes and the buttons may allow it to be uh, working again since it's brand new and, and cleaned off. So we're gonna go ahead and disassemble this piece again, and we're gonna go ahead and get started on reassembling uh, with the aftermarket shell. Now that everything's disassembled again, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the screen. So this one, I just simply kind of twist it like this. As you can hear, it removes some of the adhesive. Now don't do it too hard. It doesn't really need a lot, just a little bit of the twisting. And if it still doesn't come off, normally what I like to do is get some tool to kind of pry it open. It should come up, there we go. But before I move it to the new screen, I'm gonna go ahead and put the new lens on the other shell. So we're gonna go ahead and put the new screen on this one before I go ahead and transfer it just so that there's no dust underneath.
All right, now that everything's assembled, let's go ahead and test it out. All right, start button's working fine. So like button's working. So we were able to restore this Game Boy Color. We got the sound working. We went ahead and fixed all the button issues. It seemed to just be a little bit dirty. And of course, we also fixed this extension port and you can see that it looks really good now. And of course, the major difference here being that the aftermarket shell, uh, I know it's not an original, but a lot of people seem to like these Pokemon ones. Um, the buttons do not ever feel like the original. So if you want to keep those, you might want to just keep the membranes and those buttons. And we also went ahead and restored uh, or not restored, but rather put a brand new screen. And this is a glass lens, and I really like the way this looks. And it seems to be a lot more durable than some of the lenses that come with the originals. So I really like the way this Game Boy Color turned out. I mean, it looks really clean, it's really sharp. The only thing that I would advise is that if you are looking at some of the aftermarket shells, I mean, I've tried to be shopping around on different ones. Now this is from a different vendor. And just like all the other ones, the same thing seems to be happening is that the buttons can sometimes feel like it's a hit or miss. Sometimes they feel great like the originals and other times they just feel too soft or these D pads feel like either a little too hard or too soft. And some of those times you can go ahead and correct it based on um, just kind of the moldings. They seem to be having some extra molding. You just have to make sure that you clean them. But besides that, I think everything looks good. I think we can go ahead and say that this one's fully restored. So that wraps up today's video. If you like today's content, please be sure to hit that like button. If you have any questions regarding a Game Boy Color that you're having issues with, maybe I can go ahead and address some of those questions or concerns. And if you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe as it helps support this channel and allows me to provide more content. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time.